My name is Nicole Fowler, and I'm a scientist here at the IU Center for Aging Research and the Regan Streif Institute in the IU School of Medicine. So particular medical decisions can sometimes be tough because families will say, you know, I'm not the expert, you know, the doctor's the expert. And so they think that they um, don't really have much that they can bring. But one of the things that can be a resource, uh, there are tools actually, and they're called decision aids or decision support tools. And these are things that um, can oftentimes um, help family members think about a medical decision making, a, d a medical decision in advance before that time of crisis or before the meeting with the doctor. So for example, um, decisions about cancer screening. They could look at some decision aids that might help inform them what might be the risks and benefits of a cancer screening decision and be prepared to talk with the, their uh, loved one's doctor before the visit. I think that the decisions that are hard for patients and for families to make are the ones that actually seem as if maybe they don't have as big of an impact like these life of death decisions, but they have real implications on their lives. Other times they might be things that they hadn't even thought about because they were decisions they had been continuously doing, things like screening for cancer, when those are really important things to do when somebody, say, might be in their 50s or even their 60s. When a loved one has Alzheimer's and dementia and might be in their mid-70s to 80s, sometimes those decisions are a little bit more difficult. Family caregivers who care for older adults in their family with cognitive impairments such as Alzheimer's disease and dementia often say that one of the most difficult things for them is when they have to participate or make a decision for their loved one, in particular a medical decision. And so the work that I do is to try to understand some of those difficulties for caregivers and try to help support them so that when they're making a medical decision for their loved one, um, it's the way that they want it to be.